Hello, everyone. Oh, this has a. My timer came up. Anyways, hello, everyone. It's the Goon oh, Squad. Perfect. Yeah, so I don't even have to use the one on my phone. Anyways, it's the Goon Squad with the first episode of a co op let's play of Total War Warhammer Empire and Dwarves. I can't wait for the PvP one so I can cry. Oh, it'll be fine. Who knows, you might even beat me. <laughs> Just as a caveat, you'll see it right now. The loading screens are a little long. Yeah. So, I don't, and I don't want to edit. So I'm going to leave them, and we're just going to have to be entertaining for the length of loading screens. Easier said than done. Because we're entertaining? Yeah, shut up. Don't even be like that. Who did I'm going to be all over that. I momentarily already forgot who I chose to play. You're the Empire. I know, but like my legendary lord. Oh, fuck fine, no. I went with Volkmar the Grim, because I've yet to play as him. I am the Grudge Bearer. Hope you don't get your name in my book. I mean, if I somehow do get my name in your book, you're gonna get wrecked. Yeah. Because... No, it's, worse. it's marginally worse for me than it is for you. Well, yeah, because we can't actually fight each other in a co-op campaign, so if I got into your book, you would never be able to get rid of that slight, and the longer it stays, the more... like, the more aggressive it becomes, and you start taking penalties for... <laughs> having a high grudge bearer score oh yay so yeah i don't know how i would get into your book oh i guess if i, I tried to raid your land i would get put in your book that's true although can you can we do that in the co-op campaign I don't know, I've never played a total co-op Total War game. <laughs> Man. I would assume not. Uh, well, it's a, it's a stance your armies take on the battle map, so... I don't know. We could try it. <laughs> once we, uh, once we get close and meet up, you can try to raid my land. Need to go murder greenskins. I don't know which way I want to, uh, I want to expand first. Murder greenskins and loading screens. Wow, that got very robot -y. Ooh. That's probably going to happen. What's up? A... Having some slight game lag. It's not super bad, but it is strange. Oh, you go first oh. this time. I see the game lag you're talking about already. Yeah, it's... It's like... It's jittery. It's not... It's not so much lagging as that it's jittering. I have to look at some settings between or maybe it's just the multiplayer because I don't have this problem in the single player I never had it in single player either so it may very well just be multi being a little weird Yeah, this is technically the second time we've uh, recorded this. The first time we just started playing, and I didn't end up recording any of it. It's just because we're smart and forgot about it. I was, I was too excited. Oh, I start with a unit of. Uh, oh, that's with that regiment of renown. Oh. Alrighty then. With Volkmar. And Free Company Militia. Do 
do I want? You are wise yeah, sure. Let's grab one. I don't know what they do. They do the things free companies tend to. Well, they're... Welcome, my countrymen! They're, uh... Oh, can I just go straight into a defensive alliance with this dude? They're a, a ranged unit with decent melee capabilities from what the stats tell me. Sure. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, what a joyous first turn. The joys of early Total War. It is pretty boring at the start. But I love this game because late game you get like giant ogres. Well, not not ogres, but you get giants and trolls and dragon ogres and giant. all sorts of freaking ridiculous bullshit. It's so good. Honestly, this is my favorite Total War game that's come out to date. Which could get me in trouble. I mean, on the yeah, internet, it's your but... two favorite IPs. It's your two favorite IPs put you put together. Yeah. It's pretty great. Now if they do this 40k style, then we'll have my favorite total war. Yeah, good luck with that. It it could happen. It could, but the chances are like zero. Because 40k is still a working games workshop IP. Yeah. So. Although that's one of the things that I don't under. Like, I didn't really look into it, I'll be honest. But the reason there is no time, like, no referenced date in this game, is because Game Workshop is like, you're not allowed to go. You're like, you're not allowed to progress time. Alrighty then. Yeah. It's also a cheeky excuse to make sure your lords don't die of old age, which was a serious problem in the other total in the historical total wars. Okay. I had a I had a lot of very good generals just die of old age right before they were supposed to do something epic, like wipe out a sixty stack <laughs> army. It's Dark Souls rules. Time's complicated. Don't worry about it. Basically. Actually, time just doesn't exist. Oh, God. Fucking idiot. Didn't realize it was my turn. Oh, we've just been sitting. Good job. <laughs> Good job. I thought you were doing shit. Nope. Like diplomacy and what have you. <laughs> diplomacy. Actually, now that you say that, I should do diplomacy. You should do diplomacy. Especially with Barak Far, which is directly to your left. Oops. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. Boys. Let's do some... Uh... I have no idea what those do. Let's see. How do defensive alliances sound with you boys? Very good. Excellent. A dwarf there is a dwarf here. We're all dwarves now. <clears throat> We're all dwarves now. Just a bunch of midget 70, soldier 76s around her. That would be terrifying, actually. I will not obey. How many it's basically just give have? Captain America a gun. You guys have 11 dudes. Do I think I can win that fight? Do I? Oh, it's apparently a pretty even battle. I guess we're having a first episode fight. Excellent. Those are the best kind of fights. Because I gotta win this. 
Man, you look flamboyant as fuck. I know, he's so cool. I think he's the high... The Grand Theogonist of the... The Church of Sigmar or some shit. I don't remember what his backstory is. He gets a really cool mount later in the game. It's basically like a magical carriage that fucks people's days. Mm -mm. It's intense. Oh yeah, that means I get all sorts of lore lores of magic too. Yeah. Getting all of it. Yeah, because there's Amber, Life, Shadow, the Grey Wizard, Celestial, Light, I think Death is a domain that I can get, uh, the Pyro Dude. And I think that's all of them. Oh yeah, and I got a new charger already. Hopefully this one does... Man, I'm really glad I remembered to mute my mic there. Why? Because I just coughed my lungs out. That hurt my face. <laughs> so what do you do? Divine prayer. Oh. Increases the miscast chance. That's not even helpful. Oh, I don't even know what units I'm going to give you. Uh, you don't have to give me any if you want to do it all yourself. I have those guys. Oh, I've been giving peoples. You've been giving the flagellants. I'm really mad that they get the upper ground here. It's not great. So something to note with the flagellants is they're unbreakable. Okay. Which means they will never route due to morale. Let's just group these two together. Alright. Whenever uh. you're ready. I'm forgetting shit you taught me already. Okay, there we go. <laughs> oh, just so people are aware, this is his first Tour de War game. It really is. Which surprised me when I first learned of it. Yeah, I should probably put these guys more like... Over here. Like inside my cavalry? Just inside your body. Yes. Oh god. start with. What's that? Uh, checking out your gunman. Oh. Are you good to, uh... I'm good to kill. Okay. I only have two units. <laughs> well, I don't know what you were doing with your placement. You're all over the place. So for people who, if they watch this and don't know how to do that, what I just did was I held alt and left clicked on my dudes. And that's what brought up that menu. What is your attack range? Okay, so I'm gonna be getting inside of your attack range. That's a problem. I must admit. Because I can't it's get... Not, uh, it's not great, definitely. Like, I can't get to his crossbowman because he's got two units of spearmen. On that side. I could try and use my maceman and uh, tie up the spearmen. Uh, it might work. So which side do you need me on? The left? The right. Right, alright. Our right, their left. Yeah, there's, there's I can go. For you. 
Yeah, yeah, I can go climb the spearmen. I've never actually seen these dudes. What do they look like? The flagellants? No. The Knights of the Blazing Sun. Oh. Uh, I've barely seen anything in this game so far. They actually look badass. Oh, also, if you don't know how to get rid of your UI, you can press K. That goes for you and people that might end up watching. Oh! Nice sound. Yeah, no, I do that a lot. Are they firing yet? I'm surprised they're not. Well, they should just... have uh, increased range on that hill, yes? No, they have the same range increment. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, now they're firing, because we're, ours are in range with theirs as well. Yep. So what we're going to do is we're going to do... We're just going to start charging. If you can tie up that left, that yep. right side. Yep. Yeah, you can go fight there. Jalen unit got kind of wrecked. Yeah, I know the crossbowman did a number on them already. Oh boy, although I also have two units of swordsmen coming in on me. Yep, I will, uh. I'm gonna swing like this. Attempt to assist here by destroying that swordsman unit. They're sending a lot of bullets downrange. Those militias. Oops. Yeah, they they're have a pretty decent rate of fire there. Yeah, they're pretty decent. They have a lot of ammo too. I never figured out how to check that. Uh, it's the orange bar under, like, you see green, oh, okay. white, yeah. orange. It's that bar. All right. So I was like, hmm, I know ranged units are on ammo in this game. And I was playing my dwarves earlier, and I was like, I have no clue how to tell. Yeah, it's the orange bar. Oh, come on, crossbowmen, take their crossbowmen out. Man, oh, yes, he's the Grand Field 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 I feel good about that. Are nowhere near as scary as the... <laughs> The ones you have in, um, shit, what's the game? More time? That's it, more time. Yeah. Well, I think these dudes are rocking dual maces or some shit. They are. I mean, one of your units is a rank 9 dude. The Tattersouls, they're a rank 9 unit. Yeah. Because... Regiments of Renown start at rank 9. Ooh, I'm taking My mace men are not there. winning their fight. Well, that's because they're... They're fighting... Spears. Well, it's not even that they're fighting spears, it's that they're fighting a spearman unit and a swordsman unit. Oh, the swordsmen are in there too, yeah. I only managed to stop one of them. Well, they should hold out fine for now, and then once that... When you down in this fear and easily able to break these guys. I haven't been able to use my blazing sun as much as I wanted to. Uh, also, they're all winded from the charge. Oh yeah. Well, it's the it was all the running that we had to do to get there, and then the fighting immediately afterwards. Yeah. It wrecked your. I 
actually. I'm going to attempt to assist here still. Man. Get in there. Charge that bitch. 2017 has my hopes for entertainment up really high, and they're all dashed again. Why? What's What was supposed to be around? Uh, there's the Castlevania Netflix series that's... There's the live-action JoJo movie. Mm. Which I don't I don't know how well that's gonna go. I'm not confident about it. These Blazing Suns are annoying the hell out of me because they're not actually charging properly. <laughs> and on top of that, there Bill Nye is getting his own Netflix. That I didn't hear about. Yep, Bill Nye is getting his own Netflix show. Wow. Why does Bill Nye need a Netflix show? I don't know, but Bill Nye's getting the show, and I'm not gonna. I mean, yeah, whatever floats his goat. Bill Nye's gonna teach you how to float a goat with sulfuric acid on his Netflix show, first episode. Ugh, maybe not. <laughs> They're like, Bill, Bill, have you been drinking mercury lately? Hey, you managed to route one of those spearmen. Your, your maceman took a hell of a hit. Well, I mean, they did just 2v3. Yeah. It would have been a 4v3 if I hadn't have managed to get my Blazing Suns into position there. It would not have been good. <laughs> well, that's a mass route right there. Yeah, it is. They're all running for the hills. Yeah. it was. I needed a, a good decisive charge into the melee there. Quick, slaughter everyone. No, where, because it was a siege battle, they all yeah. auto die anyways. Oh, alrighty then. If it was a field battle, it'd probably be a good idea. Wow, the Tatter Souls 160 dudes murdered. Oh, Jesus. 95 from the Flagellants. It's not fucking flagellants, the mace. They're flagellants. Are they flagellants? Yeah, well, they're a ma they're flagellant. Like, their unit card is the flagellant, but they're a mace infantry. Okay. They're actually, uh, super good. Because they have the unbreakable trait. As they should. Yeah. Monster uh, dudes with the unbreakable trait are really hard to deal with because they fight literally to the last man. They never run. So breaking the army is impossible. It's always very useful, though. Oh, yeah, but like, on your side. if you. If you have a like all of your infantry be flagellants, they can never break your lines. They just have to try to slaughter their way through you. And chances are you're gonna break them before that happens. Most of the time, especially if you get some good rear cavalry charges, you can destroy people very quickly. I mean, yeah. Who, who does want to take a horse up the rear? Ugh. Did you have to phrase it like that? Yeah. Yes. I don't even know why I asked. Of course you did. <laughs> All the loot. Yeah, 700 gold. <gasps> I got a weapon. The 120 captures. Yeah. I got a weapon too, and a level up. Basically level up every fight when you're starting out. In the early game, yeah, you do. Trash this building, and we trash this building. Oops. Trash it, I said. There we go. Blessings of Sigma upon you. Let's level him up. I see Sigma's hand in this. 
No, right now I am simply starving people out. Yeah. It's a good strat. It's a strat I used a lot when I was playing as Chaos. I mean, it's very effective. When you can yeah, take them on sure. after half their forces. Wait, he said when half their forces are killed off. In order to... Because Discord doesn't like me. Yeah, we use the Discord app. And for some reason, it just does not agree with him. Which we've yet to be able to figure out why. Oh yeah, I forgot. Scar Snick starts over here. That's one of the DLC. I mean, I have taken L's, but um, DLC for days. This is... Yeah, it's kind of rough. We're not really going to have time for much else. We won't. There's, uh, battles take a while in this game. Yeah, especially when they lag the hell out like that. Yeah. No, that was weird. Yeah, I don't understand that. You don't even really have anything to do, though, now, because you're... No, I don't. I'm just encircling them right now. I mean, you could technically start building a second army. I could. Probably should, actually. Just be careful, because when you start a second army, yeah, it increases the amount your armies cost. Yeah, I'm, I'm aware. Okay. I don't know if you. I didn't know if you had started a second army or not. Which is why I'm immediately starting a gem mine shaft. Yeah, that's really good. That's super good for the dwarves, because once you start getting trade, you make a lot of money. On top of if you go down the economic route, yeah. there's things that increase the money you make, as well as buildings. Now let's see, what lords have I? Vikram Drakebeard. That's an intense name. But is his trait good? Uh, easily trapped. No, that is not mm, good. Not really. And Dramar Glimidesson, who's a spurned. I don't, I plus, don't know what that one is. That's plus two to leadership, minus one to public order. That's good if you want him as, like, out on military campaigns all the time. It means to, even though it is only two, it means he will break less often. Like, he'll route less often. Yeah. Although, as the dwarves, he starts with, like, 80 or 90 leadership anyways. Yeah, no. But I'd rather have a lord with some good to him than a lord with just straight out negative. Yeah. I do dare to summon you, you bearded bastard. <laughs> oh, Lord. I declare war on them. And just continue starving people out, and I guess that's my turn. <clears throat> what a riveting turn it was. So we'll probably get to the end of... I'll, I'll do my turn, we'll end the video, and we'll start the next video on your turn. Alright. Goddamn, my brother just friggin' raffle stomped his way down the stairs. <laughs> I mean, he's a big hulking stonehead. What do you... I mean, he's tall, but he's not that big. So why are you? I'm five foot three, Sims, or everyone's big to me. 
That's true. So you're losing public order. Oh, shit, balls. You're right in the mouth hole? I, I took down my recruitment building so that I could build it in the other area. But I forgot to leave it until this one was built, so now I just can't even recruit anybody. Oh, good job. I know, aren't I so smart? Rocking good start. Yes, well. Ten dudes is enough to go raffle stomping through the land. I mean, it's all I've got at the moment. Sure, but you also only have one settlement, and I have two. Yes, yeah, true. I don't know. What if I step over here? Can I force him to do something? I don't like, though, how when you right-click for further information... When you right-click for further information... It just brings up a wiki page. Oh, that's a tall thing. That's, like... They brought that in in Rome too, I want to say, but I don't remember. Anyways, I don't, I don't, don't like it. <laughs> yeah, I don't either. Anyways, that's gonna be it for this episode of Total War Warhammer. Uh, if you want, so something you probably didn't know is you can any new dudes you get that aren't legendary lords, you can name them as well as you can name every individual unit. Oh my god. So, on that note, if you want a legendary lord named, a hero named, or a unit named, or all three, if you're feeling creative, leave it in the comments. I will definitely do that, because that would be cool. Anyways, that's going to be it for this episode. Keep an eye out for more next Friday, I want to say, but who knows. And have a good one.